Hey guys, so I got a question put to me. Do you plan out the steps for something you are working on or do you just start coding and adjust as you go? I kind of find a middle ground. So if I'm building a new app from scratch, I will outline it. And if it's a web app where it has a visual component to it, then what I will do is I will first build all the views, all the screens. And having built these, well, draw them out on paper when I say build them. And having drawn them out, uh, then I will, based on those, I will be able to do a pretty good job in terms of designing the first database. They kind of align, right? You're storing all the information. Once I've done that planning, uh, barring any specific APIs I may have to access or something, then I'll just start writing the code, start with the front end, then I'll design the database, and then I'll create the connections. I'll just take it from there. When you're building your very first app from scratch, I highly recommend you do it very quickly. Don't worry about uh, unit testing. Don't worry about error trapping so much. You can just do broad stuff. Why? Because when you have a first iteration of any app, you don't really know what its final use case is going to be. In other words, you're not really sure how people are going to use it. So the key to successful app development when you're building from scratch is to get it out as quickly as possible, not to get caught up in too many details. That is the death of so many projects where you get too caught up in some minutia, micro detail based on something you've imagined that you will need. And uh, that bogs down a lot of projects. Just get it out from A to Z, even kind of hobbled with brittle code here and there. That's okay. And you will then be able to decide what features are really needed for the app, what are, what are not. And because you develop this very quickly without spending too much time trying to lock it down, it's, it's much cheaper, it's much quicker. So let me give you a quick example. I was approached by this young startup company and they had a, an app that they felt that was going to be the best thing ever. And they had a huge, well, I don't want to say huge, but they had a good amount of investment into it. And the problem was is that they were all kind of juniors. The, the, guy, the guy who was the founder, he wasn't a coder, and his people he hired around him weren't very experienced coders as well. So at one point they came to me and they wanted to ask me questions about what to do. Um, without getting into detail, I told them, for example, that they were spending way too much time worried about load load balancing and scaling. I said, you, you, you haven't even launched this thing and you're, you're, and they had this infrastructure of multiple servers and so on. It was just a mess. And anyway, this is before uh, VPSs came out. Anyway, long story short, they launched, the whole thing crashed. They got like two users or something. And so they wasted a huge amount of money uh, building scale into the application when they didn't need that. If they wouldn't have spent all that time trying to scale this thing from the beginning, they, could have, they would have had some money and time left over to be able to, to pivot and make adjustments to the app. So they just uh, basically, uh, they, they took themselves out, shall we say. On the other hand, if you're just building a simple app, some command line utility or something, or you're writing scripts for, uh, I don't know, server automation or something, then, you know, you just jot down a few notes and rock and roll, jump into it. Now, this assumes that what you're building and your code you're building is non-critical. If you have critical code, for example, if you're writing an app that might mess up people's bank accounts or might mess up an ordering system, uh, then you want to be much more careful what you're planning. But if the consequence of the app is, you know, you're building a game or something or some sort of specialized application where you're not really working with real live data, then you can just burn it out quick. Again, Getting a working application is key, whether it be a web stack, a uh, full stack, front end, back end, whether it be a, a mobile app, whatever. You know, the key is just get get it working. You can worry about the details afterwards. Get it working quick. If I were to summarize app development, I would say it is a process of iteration, meaning several passes. First pass, just get something working. Second pass, refine. Third pass, refine. That's how it is. It's not we're going to build the perfect app day one or the first time around. It doesn't work that way. All right. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.
Thank you.